Hello Indie Game fans, you may know that I have a soft spot for turn-based JRPGs, having grown up with Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, Breath of Fire, Earthbound, Golden Sun, Pokemon and more, and unsurprisingly, many indie developers have as well, so here are 10 more indie RPGs to keep an eye on. Special shoutout goes to the In Development Oddity, which is the most Earthbound-like title that I have seen, and for more upcoming games like Earthbound, do watch the video linked in the top right. Let's begin with Folklorea, a fantastic looking pixel art RPG that does have an active combat system like Mario RPGs where we simply have a quick teaser for now, but it does have promise. At the dawn of time, the Lady of Light created the elements, air, earth, fire, and water, with light to shine upon them all. Together, they formed the world of Aurora, for as long as its people can remember, Aurora has known peace, but something has changed. The elements grow unpredictable, chaotic. The spirits, the magical guardians of Aurora, are returning to bestow their powers once more. With them comes a new era. Four heroes must rise together to restore the balance, uncover ancient secrets, and decide Aurora's fate. Lux Primoria is a magical JRPG set in a world of elemental magic where the world is thrown into turmoil by an unknown force, now heroes must band together in order to save the day. The elements of interest here are earth, water, air, and fire, where each of the four main characters has a native element, but you're able to equip various spirits to them in order to change the class. Not shown in the trailer but listed on the campaign page is that equipping the same Earth Spirits to the Water and Air Aligned character results in the Druid and Monk class respectively, so there should be an interesting array of options at your disposal. Of course, it has to be inspired by Golden Sun, but if you do love that series like me, show your support by smacking the like button. This trailer does not show off any of the combat, which does make me concerned, but it's on Kickstarter seeking funding, so do give it a look. The next title has been a long time coming, where I believe Ashes of Lemuria was previously known as Guardians of Arcadia, having a classic story setup of a homeland destroyed by war, where our hero and his sister travel around the world gathering allies to stop an evil general's sinister plot. While certain sections of the game does look a little rough, I do like the look of the battle interface, contrasting the chibi characters with the cell shaded enemies to great effect. Still, looks like a ways off but is one to watch. I'm pretty excited to share that another long in development monster taming RPG, Battle Gem Ponies, is showing signs of life, with its Kickstarter campaign currently being live, so do check it out and support if you can. Think Pokemon crossed with My Little Pony and you get the idea, but the sheer variety of the pony designs is pretty interesting, having all sorts of elemental variations just like Eevee, but with ponies instead. Battles are 1v1, but you do have to choose a party of 3 out of 6 ponies for every battle, where the rock, paper, scissors style elemental strength and weakness system is in effect. The pixel art is simple but awesome, with the equivalent of shinies, legendaries, mega evolutions and even PvP, so I do hope that the campaign meets its target as we head into the final stretch. Without a doubt, one of the most influential games on indie developers is Earthbound, with many developers directly or indirectly paying tribute to that series, where another title to do so is Lifelike, with a suspiciously familiar battle interface but with a different setup. It's inspired by electromagnetism of all things, where following the death of an appliance store owner, a number of these appliances have somehow come to life and are now attacking the townspeople.
You play as the grandson of said store owner, now blamed for the influx of these creations, and it is up to you to clear your name. This is releasing episodically, but the first part is available right now on itch.io, where buying in now guarantees access to the later chapters, so check it out and support it if you're interested. One of the most underrated indie RPGs is Kaiju Big Battle Fighto Fantasy, a parody RPG about a parody wrestling league, but the next title from this developer is Woltro's Renewal, a remake of Woltro's from 2002 from the same developer, and is set to be released on the 20th anniversary of the original. It's crazy to me how this developer is still in the game, so to speak, 20 years after the fact, showing that indie development can indeed be a long game and a career worth pursuing. Our protagonist is named Bob, who just so happens to be a floating fish with an appetite for greasy food and helping others, where this is about as weird as you might expect. Pixel art, while simple, does work for this game, where I'm very curious about the world filled with all sorts of strange creatures. The original trailer for this is very long, clocking in at 4 minutes, so I've cut it down for brevity, but it does look like a very weird but unique game. For example, you can upgrade your house, there is a relationship system, an overworld map, good old turn-based combat, and even a digging minigame, so while it does not exactly amaze with the look, I do still think it's worth keeping an eye on. One of the most impressive looking retro RPGs is Slime Breaker with a Y, where you play as a no-good bandit who just so happens to be eaten by a slime, finding himself within the creature and having to fight his way out. I love the retro combat interface, where some interesting mechanics thrown off include parrying and stunning enemies, where the message right at the end does seem to confer some sort of Undertale-like twist. Let's kick off the top 3 with the fantastic looking Weird Lens, a game that I've been keeping a very close eye on since I do love the pixel art, and when it got a Steam page, I thought it was the right time to show it off. Apparently, there are monster taming elements in this in that you can recruit spirits as companions to fight alongside with you, and does have some point and click adventure game elements as well, making it one to watch. I'm so very impressed with the look of Bond of Bread, a 2.5D RPG that is of course inspired by Paper Mario where you play as a golem named Loaf with a never-ending sense of childlike wonder, having to gather friends and allies in order to deal with the threat of beings from another age. The now standard active turn-based combat is present, having you pressing buttons at the right time, and does also have a ton of bread-related puns which I love, so do check out the demo on Steam and drop them a wishlist. We, the demigods, haven't chosen our fate. Our fate chose us. We are eight heroes appointed to protect the harmony of this world. During three years, we become our cannon's guardians and fight the noises. 
The most impressive game from this lot has to be Astra Ascending, one with both the pedigree and art to match, with writers and musicians that worked on Final Fantasy in the mix, but does come to us from a relatively small French studio which is fascinating. Since I'm noticing a trend of such developers making JRPGs, such as the recently covered Itch of Eternity. And if we hit an enemy's weakness, we gain more of them. Let me show you what we're made of. Choose from 8 playable characters in building your party with an epic fantasy story that does seem to cover many genre tropes, which is not a bad thing per se, since I think that's exactly what they're going for. The combat looks neat with the expected stats, magic, special abilities, elemental weaknesses and so on, looking to be a pretty awesome system to mess around with. <laughs> to show that the developers know exactly what they're doing, this has an in-universe minigame named j Stir, which looks like Triple Triad but played on a hexagonal grid, and with both English and Japanese voiceover options, does cover the bases across the JRPG audience. And the cycle goes on every three years. New demigods are chosen, old demigods cease to be. We are fated to die for peace. The best part in all of this is that it is releasing next month, so fingers crossed this will be awesome, taking the number one spot. For my picks of the best indie RPGs, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump. Demigods! <laughs>